Good morning, folks. The sun erupted in a big way just a few hours after the news yesterday. Those with our app or who follow us on Facebook already got some insight into the blast, but it's worth noting the details. We're going to go over all of those relevant details and take a quick look at some of the top picks from an always light Thanksgiving weekend of science. The starting block is, of course, the starting blocks of the eruption, the solar flare. Dimmed everything here and the X-ray intensity just took over. The M4.4 class solar flare erupted at the eastern limb as we pick other wavelength views. Notice the ripple through the sun's atmosphere when the eruption occurs. Plasma shockwave of the flare. Nearby to the eruption point, it sent 10 Earths worth of plasma flailing southward and shown in those bright X-rays as the fields recover ambient plasma into the accelerating arches. Folks, the eruption is actually driving a slight proton rise at high energies that tells us that the true power of this flare was probably hidden. Looking at Stereo A, which is positioned far enough behind in our orbit around the Sun to see the eruption source, it was indeed likely much larger than M4.4. That's just what we could see, but remember that the eruption took place behind the limb, on the far side of the Sun. We just got to see the eruption leave off the side. Very big, likely not a kill shot, but definitely strong enough to cause significant power issues if it had been aimed at Earth. As it were, it's about 90 degrees off. Central Sun and Earth to the right here on the Enlil Spiral. Eruption misses the Earth but does tag Stereo A. It is also going to hit OSIRIS-REx, the Parker Solar Probe, and the ESA Solar Orbiter. This is exactly what the latter two of that group have truly been waiting for, and I can guarantee we will be getting papers about this event in the near future. After hitting those satellites, it's going to continue outward to hit Jupiter and Saturn, Pluto as well actually hiding behind Saturn and not shown here. The Sun saw them conjoined in the sky, Jupiter and Saturn, decided to ask why he wasn't invited to the party. The takeaway is this, the eruption will miss Earth. It was likely an X-class solar flare with the majority of that power hidden behind the limb on the far side. This is major power, very early on in the cycle. If this foreshadows the sunspot cycle in general, we're on borrowed time already with Earth's magnetic field as weak and weakening as it is. Let's take a quick peek at some of the science from the weekend. Antarctica mapped at the base and then down, down, down. Interesting heat flux and mantle interactions with the crust, images and descriptions, and helps you recognize why one of the regions is volcanically melting the ice from below. Alma up next, peering as deep as it can to investigate the spectral character of a galaxy they think is in the first generation or two. Its emission surprises them, and for those who were here a few days ago, that makes one million and one times in a row. Last but not least, a new classical nova goes on the list. Not a supernova, smaller, and leaving the star behind. These are in the recurring nova category, but on the thousands to millions of year cycle, rather than the rapidly recurrent nova every few years to decades. Folks, to learn where the sun's maximum cycle power falls, go to our channel page or suspiciousobservers.org homepage and find the Cosmic Disaster movie and playlist. Folks, the deadline for our campground design contest is tonight at midnight. We are so impressed with everything from the use of software to the artwork to the creativity of the grounds and even the park name. Four winners will get $500 each. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the sun and if you are new here, go do some homework on the website or my channel page. Things are going to get rough. Last day for the sales on our items at otf.sales.com. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close and of course we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe everyone.